Hello, how's it going guys? Thank you for watching. For this video, I want to talk a little bit about a couple of products that I just found on 7-Eleven. Now these products are sparkling water and what I like about these is, is first of all, they're teas, they're sparkling and they're zero calories. The same brand, the Sparkling Tavana Craft Iced Tea has sweetened versions. Uh, but I found the two unsweetened versions and I bought those. They were $3 each or two for $5. And obviously I bought the two because of the different flavors. I want to try both of them. It looks like it's a Starbucks company because they have the logo in the back. And I've never seen this before. I went to 7-Eleven because it's crazy hot right now here in Hawaii. Plus it's really, really humid, which makes it a lot worse. I went to grab some water and then I saw these. And since I never saw them before, I figured, okay, taste test. And before I get started, let me just go over the nutritional facts. Uh, so obviously they're zero calories. So the only thing that shows up on here is sodium, 15 milligrams, uh, but zero everything else. The ingredients for the peach nectarine green tea it says uh, carbonated water, green teas, natural flavors, apples, rose hips, licorice roots, uh, hibiscus, lemongrass, and citric acid. And this flavor right here is strawberry apple green tea. And uh, it says brewed tea, water, green teas, apples, rose hips. So this one actually is not sparkling. I just realized that. Uh, this one, the peach nectarine is sparkling. And the uh, strawberry apple is just regular tea. And uh, so I'm going to check this one out first. Now obviously, if you've been doing keto for a while, you realize that tea is actually an approved uh, beverage. So water, tea, coffee and I'll sparkling uh, uh, sodas. So because of that, anytime I see new flavors or new mix, uh, then I like to try them. So first I'm gonna try this strawberry apple tea. It's not sparkling, so let's open that up. Let me show you guys the label first. So it's nice and cold, you, so hopefully you can see the label, but that's the label there. All right, so I'm gonna try this now. Okay, so this is the strawberry apple green tea. So this one's not bad. I do taste the strawberry a little bit, the apple not so much. It's not sweet at all. It tastes almost like the Lipton iced tea that you get from uh, restaurants and like sometimes even movie theaters have them, or at least over here in Hawaii they do. It's okay though. I'm not really blown away with the flavor, but it's good to have another option. All right, so now let's move on to the uh, peach nectarine green tea. And this is sparkling. So that's the label. And again, this one's zero calories. The ones that I saw that uh, had sugar were about 80 calories per serving, but I can't remember if one bottle was one serving. So let me try this one, the peach nectarine green tea. This one's just a little sour, not too much though. They both have citric acid, but I've tasted more on this peach nectarine flavor. To be honest, I expected more of a, a thirst quenching type of a flavor or experience. Uh, not so much though. The carbonation is not really strong, so it's not like drinking a uh, club soda. I think my wife would probably like these because uh, she likes that kind of uh, almost like bitter, kind of like coffee and beer. Uh, so this is, if anything, it's not as bad as beer. I don't like beer, but it's kind of in that lane where I can see how they can make a beer out of this. So I'll save the rest for her, so she might want to try that. And so that's it. I just saw them and I figured, okay, you know, they're keto friendly. Uh, we're very limited on the drinks that we can uh, have on keto. So I figured, you know, I share with you guys anytime I find something new. And so that's it. If you enjoy teas, especially like sparkling teas, uh, then I recommend those uh, for myself just because it does have that beer taste to me. Uh, I probably wouldn't buy them again for myself, but Again, I don't drink, so I'm kind of, you know, I'm not a good judge of that. But yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any suggestions on other keto-friendly drinks that you want me to taste test, let me know in the comment section below. I really appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.